y'all. Like, for real, I really still, I can't believe this really happening. I never thought it really would happen, for real. I heard the rumors. I didn't really believe the rumors, because I'm like, I don't really see that happening. But it's official. I woke up this morning, got on Twitter, and saw that Stephen A. Smith himself announced that Shannon Sharp will be sitting across from him every Monday and Tuesday starting September 4th to be a co-host on ESPN First Take and debate with him. Like, this revolutionary, y'all, and I don't really think some of y'all really understand what really just went down. ESPN really just made a power move. And I know they paid, made a power move because Dan Orlovsky, when Stephen A. Smith is announcing this, he's smiling ear to ear, grinning, because he know ESPN just officially won with that brother being on a network. Stephen A. Smith is box office already, right? He's a media giant, a media mogul. I have um, a, a sports debate show mogul. Right? Not media mogul, but sports debate show mogul. And, and a, a, he is phenomenal, right? I've criticized certain things he said, certain things he's done, but I can never discredit that brother's career. He's exceptional, exemplary of what he does. That's why ESPN pays him a hefty bag because they know he drives in ratings for them. Shannon Sharp coming across, sitting aside, sitting across from him, even on just Monday and Tuesday, that shit is TV gold. They can't miss with that. Now, if you don't know, you've seen Shannon Sharp and Skip and Stephen A. Smith have been on shows debating together against the Skip Bayless, right? When uh, First Take was coming to her end, when well, not First Take was coming to her end, but when Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless's First Take was coming to an end, you saw Shannon Sharp making appearances there, and they was having some great debates then. With them two for real now, especially after Shannon has really got his feet wet and, and developed his personality within the media... Uh, with, with television personality, when he is, has become who is who has who he has become now, what, bro? I promise y'all, I will be watching. I haven't watched ESPN First Take live since about 2014, 2015, and that was when I was at Mississippi Valley State University getting my getting my bachelor's degree. Right, I haven't watched uh, First Take live since then. I will be watching live on September 4th because I want to see. I got to see it. You know what I mean? And what's crazy is, man, this arms race that, you know, th that's going on across debate shows on different networks. You got FS1 Undisputed, ESPN First Take. They bring it in top tier talent to see who can outdo each other, right? Keyshawn Johnson, Richard Sherman, uh, the playmaker, Michael Irvin. They go on to ESPN. I mean, not ESPN. They go on to FS1 Undisputed. Let me repeat that again. Keyshawn Johnson. Richard Sherman, the playmaker Michael Irvin, they're going to FS1 Undisputed. Shannon Sharp is coming to ESPN First Take. <clears throat> Bro, I promise y'all, this shit going to be more competitive more competitive than some of the ESPN, not the ESPN, NBA games I watched last year. It's going to be more competitive than some of the teams I didn't see hope for real. Honestly, man, we're going to have to adjust the volume because them brothers... Shannon Sharp and Stephen A, they're going to be hollering and yelling and screaming at each other like I'm doing right now. I, I can't help it. I'm excited, and I always do this anyway, right? But I promise y'all, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to tune in, and the world is going to be tuned in. Seriously. Like, I look at Stephen A, say, look, man, he learned 60 seconds ago. Shannon Sharp is going to be joining him every week, Monday to every Monday and Tuesday. Bro, then I see Shannon Sharp announce it on his page, too. With the, Le the LeBron and uh, the famous LeBron and um, Dwayne Wade picture with their heads on, you know, each other's body or whatever. That's crazy. Like, I've seen Shannon Sharp. Like, like, this is really the joining of two mega forces. The joining of two mega forces. And it's going to be beautiful to watch. Like I said, it's television gold. This is a power move, though, for real. And maybe, because listen, let me just say this, too. ESPN knew they had been losing some money recently. They lost some money with the talent that they had. And so they said, you know what? We're going to clean house. I was sad to see a lot of them people that I grew up watching and I grew up loving to watch. So I was sad to see them lose their job, right? Nobody wants anybody to lose their employment. Hell no, nah, especially in this economy. We ain't rooting for that at all. I'm, I'm never rooting for that at all, right? But when you see they really had to clear room for Shannon Sharp, right? Clear room to pay Shannon a hefty bag, right? To pay him the bag in order to drive their ratings through the roof. Just on Monday and Tuesday, he about to do that. Can you imagine if he was on there every single day? What? 
Now, we knew when Stephen A. Smith said he was wanting, he never wanted the same person on every single day with him anymore. He didn't want to do that anymore because he felt like it's not a formula for, for success. But I don't care. He couldn't make an exception for Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp every day with him is a formula for success easily. Easily. Okay? And this is going to be generational entertainment. Generational entertainment, man. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I really am, man. Like, this really is a game changer. And then he's still going to be doing club. Shay Shay Club. Shay Shay coming back with those entertaining ass interviews he does. Shannon Sharp is a great interviewer. He asks extremely great questions. You know how to segue into different topics. He knows how to let a person talk and not interrupt them and all that. He know how let, he know how, he knows how to let a person gets their get their thoughts out. He knows how to let people, you know, guide. He he can guide the interview in the right direction. But if the interviewee is taking it in one way, he knows how to flow with that and then still figure out a way to get certain questions off. Still ask things that he may has that he may have not written down. They're like, okay, well, I can go on the fly. I can ask you this question since you just brought that up. Let me ask this. Let me ask that. He's brilliant. He's made for TV, and so is Stephen A. Smith. So when you see this, this shit is like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's like you remember when the teenage mutant teenage mutant ninja turtles and the Power Rangers came together on one episode when they cross appeared on TV on the shows. That shit was like, what? We couldn't believe that when that happened. Right? This like when, you feel me, when when uh Dipset was linking with, with Wayne. When they was linking up with Lil Wayne and making the music they was creating, right? Seriously. You feel me? This is really like if Jay-Z and DMX <laughs> made an album together, a whole entire album with just them two, and they prime. This is 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 phenomenal, man, and I can't wait to watch it. But I really was shot like, damn, he really going there. Stephen A. Smith said he ain't seen no official before this. Stephen A. Smith said he can't confirm that Shannon Sharp was going anywhere or coming over there because he ain't seen no nobody no paperwork that says that he hadn't heard no paperwork that he hadn't heard any news that Shannon Sharp signed or nothing. But it was already in the atmosphere and out there that Shannon Sharp was coming there. Whoever these fucking sources are. They are brilliant. You know how NBA players or, or NBA, um, uh, not players, but media members, right? Or, you know, NFL media members, they always say they got sources, sources, sources. People are like, who are these sources, right? Sometimes their sources be wrong. But ain't nobody been wrong about where these people going on these networks. Those sources, right on the money. Right on the money. Soon as they said Shannon Sharp was leaving, it already came out. He left. He was leaving the next day. The next day they found, the next day we all, the public, found out he was leaving. They already were murmurs and rumors he was leaving like the day before, two days before. Then Shannon Sharp came out and confirmed he was leaving, right? It was already, it was already rumors he was coming out, right? Then, um, I'm trying to think of some other stuff, like, but just in this situation for real, it was announced a few days ago Shannon was going to ESPN. Now it really is for real. I'm like, oh, these sources, they for real. They know what the hell they talking about. Who's the inside man? Because, man, like, like, for real, this is groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. And, again, I'm, I haven't been excited to watch First Take in years. I really ain't watched the show for real. I watched a segment or two when Max Lynn was on. I love Max Kellerman. He's an astute man when it comes to boxing, bro. I love that boxing stuff, man. You know, y'all know I love boxing. Max knows his boxing for real, for real, in and out in his sleep. In his sleep. Max could be woke up from a coma for 10 years and then know that boxing shit like it ain't nothing. But he never, I don't know, him and Stephen A, I never was galvanized to watch the show every single day like that. I don't know what, for what reason, I don't know why. I like them individually, but I never was really galvanized to watch them together. These two together, oh, I'm watching that. You watching it, your mama watching it, your cousin, little sister, auntie. <laughs> they watching it too, all right? Your daddy watching it, your grandfather watching it, your grandfather's best friend, Billy Joe from Mississippi, from Greenwood, Mississippi, he watching this too. You hear me? Your auntie Hattie from uh, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, she watching this too, all right? We all watching this. The revolution will be televised. Machiavelli Mills TV, I'm out. Peace.